Alex is with Jay White, who mocks MJF for his comment about Google Trends. <laughs> said he was going to prove he, he was elite Ma tonight. That, that, yeah, the reason that Max's Google Trends were higher is because Max keeps searching for himself. Yes. Had a great Don Callis family video package, a video game commercial spoof, and he said this is not one of Kenny's video games. And then Kenny said this would never be over until one of them was gone. It was very, very well done. Hmm. Then we had a very interesting segment. Jericho and Kenny are doing a promo, and they get interrupted by Matt and Nick Jackson. And Matt's very unhappy that Kenny is teaming with Jericho. They've got a new cool name, the Golden Jets. And uh, clearly, you came up with that, Jericho, says Matt. And Jericho says, listen, you guys are clearly he did the come, greatest. He did, come, he did come up with it from Bobby Hall. You guys are the greatest tag team in the world. But in my opinion, Kenny and I could beat you guys. And Matt is like, oh, yeah, is that right? Well, you know what? I got a great idea. We got a pay-per-view coming up at L.A. We're not booked. You're not booked. How about we have a match together? Jericho says, that's great. Well, how about if we win that guaranteed title shot you guys are sitting on? We get it. And Matt says, well, that's great. How about if we win, you guys have to break up your stupid team and the elite can go back to being the elite again. And Kenny has said nothing the entire time. He's aghast that he's in the middle of this. But he does finally say, you know what? I don't want to wrestle you guys, but if you're actually sitting here saying, can I beat you? Well, we know the answer. We've been down that road before. So now Matt's really angry, and he uh, they want the match, and Kenny says, we'll beat you. And after we do, hopefully you guys will go back to being adults and not whiny bitches. So uh, that's the big match added to the pay-per-view with stips on both sides. Yeah, so, they're, so Jericho and Omega are probably going to win, and then... Uh... Then get a tag team title shot, I guess. That sounds like the idea to me. Don't think you're going to yeah. break them up so early. Not after just giving them a name and start starting their merchandise. It'd be silly to break them up. Yeah. Well, I mean, the one thing is is that uh, whenever the Young Bucks wrestle against Omega, it's usually, like, absolutely incredible. I mean, like the uh, – and they brought that up. You know, they go like, you know, Omega said, you know, beat you with the Bushi and, and beat you with Adam Page. You know, even though they did say that you're the greatest tag team in the world. But, you know, he beat him twice. We had Samoa Joe and Keith Lee for the Ring of Honor television title. This match was fun. Two big dudes pounding on each other. And finally, Keith goes for his finish. Joe sneaks behind, chokes him out, gets the win. And then he gazes at the Ring of Honor title. And he does a promo saying, I did not come here to just be your TV champion. Hunger defines the greats, and I am very hungry. And, uh, by the way, in the match, I, I couldn't tell what, what they were chanting, but it sounded like they were chanting, eat forever, because they were two meat, big dudes. Meat, meat forever. Meat, meat forever? Meat forever. Well, it was yeah. a very meat. meaty match. Yes. He said tonight he is vacating the Ring of Honor TV title, and he just left in the middle of the ring. His next yeah. title will be the AEW world title, he says, whether Max likes it or not. Yeah, I'm thinking that that's going to be the uh, Nassau Coliseum main event. December and at the end of December. You know, it was, uh, I, I, I could not, like, I was baffled on this show. MJF is your baby face world champion, mm -hmm. right? Now, it's one thing when it's him against the ass boys, Juice and Jay, and he goes running because it's, you know, four Run. on one. Yes. But the announcers are explaining during this match, I think it was during this match, the announcers actually said, that MJF probably should team with Samoa Joe. But if he does team with Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe gets a world title shot, and MJF is scared of him. They That's what they say. said. They should have never said that. <laughs> I was like, what? Not not for your top baby face. No. You should no. never say that. That's, I, I, I'm surprised because that's just basic wrestling instinct. You would never say that about your top baby face. Yeah. That was bizarre. Yeah, so especially, have... since he, especially since he beat him the last time, even though the idea was he got hurt. Yes. Him, but he did beat him the last time. So Orange and Hook did a promo, and Orange said Mox is nuts if he thinks Orange doesn't respect him. He was the only person on his mind since he took the title. He said, regardless of what you say, I did not pick up the pieces of Ray Phoenix. I picked up the pieces of the belt you dropped. And he says, it doesn't feel the same. I need to beat you to be the international champion. I know I am. At full gear, I will beat you. We had the gun squashing the Bollywood boys. 
And then they cut a promo on Max saying he was a liar. They were generational talents. The, the crowd liked the Bollywood boys, you know, but... You know, they it would have been nice get... if they got more than 30 seconds because they're actually really Man, it deep. was like 30 seconds. They it got literally nothing. was 30. I don't think they even got a minute. You know, No, no, it was. It, it was, was like was toss pretty... one guy out, hit the uh, 310 to Yuma, 1, 2, 3. It was just quick. Yeah. So then they cut backstage to Mox and Wheeler. Yeah, 39 seconds. And this promo was weird. Mox says, people have been calling me all week saying I should let Orange off the hook. But this is not about a belt. It's about the laws of nature. It's a jungle. We're a group of predators. What kind of example would I be setting for Wheela if I didn't beat the shit out of you? You don't deserve to go to full gear. The minute we land at LAX, it's on gang warfare, you and whoever you want to bring. And I was like, what? They're going to fight in the airport? There's a gang warfare fight in the airport. Later they announce it's just a tag team match next week. Yeah. Yeah, Moxley and uh, and Yuta against Hook and Orange Cassidy, yes. and I, I I suspect that uh, Yuta and Hook are going to be doing a match at the pay per view too. Sounds like it. Yeah, Wardlow promo about how he wants to kill MJF. Then well, we at least, had uh, at least many people want to Red Velvet her first match in about a year with a big knee brace on her right leg faces Julia Hart. And it was not all that good. I think the issue was Red Velvet's knee brace was falling off, and so she was afraid to move around a lot. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, she hit an iconoclasm, and then Julie just super kicks her. Took forever to drag her into position. Hit a moonsault and pinned her. And then afterwards, Julia goes after Red. Sky Blue comes down to the ring. Uh, She goes face-to-face with... Uh, Julia. Then Statlander and Willow come out. Chris gets between Sky and Julia, and Julia leaves. Got all that? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Then, this one I could not believe my eyes. They get, they say, we're going to go to RJ City. They go backstage. Oh, Mariah May showed up. And RJ City just goes, hello, fans. We have signed Mariah May. <laughs> yep, and there she was. <laughs> I was like, what? What? That's her debut, and she walks on screen, and she explains that she's a mark for Tony Storm. He says, well, you'll get to meet her next week, and she's so happy she kisses RJ, and that's the debut of Mariah May. Yeah, yeah, they're hooking her up with Tony Storm as, as like, I don't know, her protege or something? Yes, her young girl. Yeah, yeah. That was a bizarre debut. Yes, it was. But I guess they just wanted to establish that she's a big Tony Storm fan. We had Mark Briscoe and Jay White in the main event, which was a very good main event. Mark Briscoe was great. I, th- I thought they, I thought they had a great match. Yes, um, Jay White. Crowd, crowd was very into Mark Briscoe. Yeah, there was great heat for this match. It was great heat all night, really. It was a good crowd. And let's go, Briscoe. Chance uh, Jay keeps going for the Blade Runner and gets countered and. Finally, uh, Mark hits an exploder. He goes for the J Driller. J counters and hits a sleeper suplex. Second one, cross arm brain buster, blade runner, and gets the pin. So then MGF hits the ring. He lays out the ass boys and juice with the diamond ring. Goes for J White, but J bails. So MGF cuts his promo about how he's going to beat J at the pay per view. And suddenly the lights go out. And when they come back on, there's four masked guys backstage. They destroy the acclaimed. They throw uh, Bowen through a big glass bay window. And then the devil face appears on the screen. And so Max rushes backstage. And when he gets back there, he runs into Samoa Joe, who tells him, looks like you're running out of friends. So they're strongly teasing that it's going to be Samoa Joe teaming with Max at the pay-per-view in the Ring of Honor championship match mm-hmm. so that so, was a dynamite show no yeah. well they're going back to that mystery thing which is probably good if they don't overdo it yep, yep. who is the devil yep because who is uh, it in theory it can't be mjf because uh he's in the ring but, yeah but uh, could it be adam cole i don't think it's adam cole yeah unless they're stretching this out for like nine months i know that's the problem they'd have to stretch it out for that long yeah yes Hey guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.